least as best as I can tell. How about that? <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? You know, you, All the things. Pretty much. <laughs> pretty much anything that can go wrong will go wrong. Hashtag Murphy's Law. Secondary story. I need to get... It is so... I need... How do I need more screens? <laughs> <laughs> you have three screens. How is that I not need up? more screens. I know the feeling. Did you, did you make sure that you add a certain person, given that he's supposed to be in all the things moving forward? Oh, what? I mean, he's around. Don't worry about him. He'll be there. Oh, oh, <laughs> okay. I understand. Yeah, what yeah, yeah. About. I knew as soon as I, I'd already added him, but he's just not going to be. I feel like he can't be part of the main every time, or that gets weird. Alternate universe weird. You never know who, who he, who he is. He just is a thing that just shows up everywhere. I mean, I know nope. who he is, nope. but he, he has to be the, the constant, always the same person in every universe. Yes. Look, he is not fucking Molecule Man, okay? Are we talking Why about not? Chuck Norris? No, Chuck Norris is beyond the universe. We can't talk about that. <laughs> he is the universe. He is the universe. <laughs> there was the multiverse, and then Chuck Norris farted again. <laughs> nice. I like that language proficiency roll. Oh, yeah, I didn't know what I was doing. I just started I, clicking. Yeah, you, it's me. really interesting how you, those work. You can literally just click them. That's why I added those. So, Michael, do you know about that, yeah? Know about what? It, you can just click your... Sh like that. I just rolled your strength. Oh, is that how that works? Yeah, it clicks. What? Yeah, click them. Click strength. You gotta actually oh, click the words. Strength. Yes, yeah, it's weird. I don't know why they wouldn't do the number. Fucking Jesus. Oh, damn. Whoa. Did you just. Wait, what? You did just fucking crit, didn't you? No, it was actually, a 17. No, it... That's no. really weird. Man, that's a oh, nine, that would have been. Because I have a plus five. To oh, strength. it's doing a double roll. Yeah, so it's giving you. It does it's a doing... double roll. It does the a first conf... one's your actual role and then if you have disadvantage or advantage then you have you your do. secondary damn that's pretty dope i think it's funny how both of them came out as 19 well that's yeah you just rolled the same thing twice which is nice it's fun it's good also oh. you can add spells and bios in there too there's, there's a lot of good shit man there's a lot of good shit in there that you can add i would suggest in your free times to do that uh in the meantime, remember to drag your little character icon onto the thing. You should be able to at least. If not, let me know, and I will drag your little icon on there. Oh, uh, no! Uh, yeah. my, my my thing just changed on me. Yeah, my mine's on there, but I can't drag it any further. Hmm. <laughs> Axel, my majigger changed on me. I don't know why. I don't know what majigger you're talking about, necessarily. I don't remember all the spells she has. She has so many freaking spells. How dare she? Hmm. Where is... there? There's Axel. Ah, oh, there we go. Alright. This. It, it, it fucking changed on me. I just remembered. I have a thing. That's good to know. Do you read the oh, that's why. For some reason, I switched to spells. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was telling you. You can change your core spells and bio. <laughs> I love well, that. I it's really like this. Because ah. I, don't, I don't remember clicking on anything to change it. It just automatically changed to spells. Weird. That weird. definitely is weird. Um, but yeah, having said that, that's how we navigate that. You can roll like that for duels and disadvantages, advantages, etc., etc., etc. Uh, it's really I, cool. I, I like it. Out. Dice is always nice. Unless they're not. And then they're they're probably gonna screw me up. That's, that's the thing is like they're like. either good or bad. It's like they either love you or hate you. That's the way yeah. of the dice. The dice gods do not play middle ground. No, no, they don't. Uh, having said that, uh, we're pretty much ready to go, uh, as far as I can tell. Uh, and you guys are in open RP. I try not to interrupt that much unless things are happening. Uh, there will be only one addition I need to make over here, but I will do it while you guys are RPing. The only thing that you guys should know is that as you are walking towards the inn, you see that the ship has crashed into the inn. And uh, to give some perspective, 
you know, that sh the inn itself is probably 60 by 20 feet, 40 by 20 feet, somewhere in between there. The ship is at least as big as the inn, both in length, width, and height. And are we able to walk into the door of the inn? No, the door, the inn is, is basically just... gone. The inn has okay. been like crushed. Oh, it's just been replaced by the boat. Essentially, like imagine there's like probably a couple, like five feet of crushed wood and stone, like a little bit of stone, but mostly wood under it where the inn oh was. God. So you probably got to climb up five foot of debris to get to the bottom of the boat, which is full of holes, by the way. So, I mean, this boat looks pretty freaking old at first glance does it look like a normal boat or does it actually look now like that a is a good, good question okay. said so i feel like uh let's see what is your observation is probably pretty high you're level 10 my so. my passive perception is 10 oh that is not very high because mm. i have that is normal uh I feel like then that would be a knowledge check because you can see it, so now you need to know whether or not... I, I was... My background is a soldier, so if this has anything to play into military rank, okay, I don't know if that would help out. This but... one, uh, it doesn't for this one. What you do notice is that this doesn't look like any ship that you ever saw while you were in the military. When, gotcha. when you were running okay. any joint uh, exercises and stuff with military units or if you were with naval units or if you were in the Navy... Uh, either way, you'd, you'd never seen a ship quite like this. This is, this is foreign to me. Definitely foreign. Gotcha. And it gotcha. definitely looks, even though it looks old, it looks complicated. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just on passive. So, like, you can always roll to look more, but on your passive perception regarding your background, that's kind of what you see from that. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, and now I remember what I was doing. God, that is the worst feeling when you just, like, forget what you were doing as a DM. It's like, what was I doing in the background? Especially because I like players, to... As, as players, it's our duty to make you forget. It really you is, though. can't kill us as easily. The problem is people actually die more when I'm not paying. It's, it's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I shouldn't have uh, attacked everybody on that one. Ah, they'll be fine. They'll be absolutely fine. But, yeah, the uh, the gist of it being there's lots of good stuff going on. I would say, um, and if you are headed towards there, you also see that there happen to be two town guards just kind of standing one on each edge of the, uh, boat going north to south. Mm -hmm. And they where, seem to be just keeping an eye. Where are we approaching from? You would be approaching from the hill area over here. Where the little oh, from where you put us? At the yeah, end. originally, yeah. And I know it doesn't visually very well represent a hill. I apologize for that. I should have just wrote hill right there. It would have probably been better. <laughs> Sometimes it's literally better to just put a square and write in, and it feels more like an in. <laughs> but yeah. And essentially, uh, at least the areas of town you went through, you really didn't see anybody. Maybe like a dog or two. Gotcha. And these guys seem to be just regular ass guards. As we're approaching, do we see our friends anywhere? Not in apparent sight. In fact, you don't see anybody in apparent sight for what is essentially usually a fairly sizable town. I mean, you can kind of like look around, obviously. And you guys are native to here, so you would know anyway. Okay. But a little background on the town. Or at least, I guess we haven't determined if you're from here or why you were just here on the bluff, etc. But yeah it's uh so I, do I did notice something some uh discrepancies between putting my info in uh in the D, &D beyond thing or not the the roll 20 thing and the D, D beyond sheet uh for some reason my wisdom charisma and strength bonus is different on the saving throws like my that wisdom, will probably charisma. be due to proficiency. Mm. That's my guess, if I had to take a look at your sheet. Because I am roughly missing three from each of them. Let's see. Yeah, mine's are a little off, too. I'm going to use my actual sheet as reference. 
because my charisma saving bonus should be a 10, my wisdom should be 8, and my strength should be 8, even when I have proficiency clicked. I'm not going to lie, with the amount of time I've seen D&D be on be wrong, I can't say for certain which one is correct. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. I've legit pulled up D&D Beyond stuff and then went to the book and it's been wrong. Which is sad. Because it's made by fucking wizards. <laughs> now, having said that, feel free to use your uh, oh, page ones. That's why. it's The uh, roll 20 isn't throwing in the plus three on saves I have from my aura for well, being you... a paladin. Ooh, that's probably because you don't have a specific entry for that on here. There's no Correct. way to like put it in, so you're just going to have to do certain things. Which is why I always advocate doing it yourself anyway. Like, I make all my rolls myself when I do Yeah, favorite. because my my aura of protection gives me and all friendly creatures within 10 feet a plus three bonus to all saving Nice. Oh, yeah. Hooray for paladins, motherfucker. <laughs> Until you need to do something bad. Well, just don't do something <laughs> bad. <then>. Yeah. <laughs> Until you gotta do bad shit. I want to see this as a player, not as a... There we go. Yes, I know what I'm asking, and I'm not asking to fucking sign up. Jesus Christ, Roll20. You jack. <laughs> you jackass. But, uh, yeah, you guys are free to continue going. So far, you're, uh, you know, you're approaching the ship. So That's all we see is that, midday. that guard right here right now. Like, no Currently. one else. Yeah. Technically, this guy, I want to say, would be... You know, on this side. So they would be on different opposite facing sides. So you technically wouldn't... Yeah, you should be able to see them. That fin's like 10 feet in the air, 20 feet in the air, at least. Okay. And are they facing towards the boat or away from the boat? Uh, the This one facing away, this one also facing away. Gotcha. So, so we'll try they're to... kind of like on guard. Yep, they're with their backs to the boat, basically. Boat back. Bo boat back mountain. <laughs> Oh, God. Why are we guarding this boat? I'm not. I'm guarding the boat of your heart. <laughs> Dear Lord. All right, I'll just start approaching the boat then. All righty. And it, on a random-ass approach, let's see what this guy can do. He's a basic bitch, so let's make a roll. I feel like, I feel like NPCs should never get to take 10. And, uh, uh, he is supposed to be on guard, so I'll give him an advantage. Oh, cool, so he didn't crit fail, <laughs> since I rolled a one secondary, but, uh, he doesn't really see you. We're gonna say, like, some of the debris is just, like, in his way, or maybe there's still smoke coming from the wreckage, but, uh, he's, he just happened to not see you as you walked up. Alright, I'm just gonna, I'll just kind of search for... Any way to get inside. Alrighty, so probably, you know, a couple feet in front of you right there or so. Maybe 15 feet in the air. You know, you got five feet of, five, eight-ish feet of broken wood where the inn used to be. And then there's the bottom of the boat and a couple feet above on the arching bottom seems to be just like a hole where, you know, stuff seems to be hanging out. Maybe a little bit of moss surprisingly uh it looks like a lot of dust it's kind of billowing hmm. oh i'll uh what is the paladin's name kapura kapura i'll motion kapura to like come to like come over and i point up at the hole and just be like we should try and get in there well Kapura is a 7 foot 8 inch tall 310 pound Goliath. Don't exactly know how he's going to get up there, but okay. Well, you you hoist me up, I'll get in and then I'll hoist you up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, do it. Out, out of out of curiosity, what, uh, how yeah. how, uh, <laughs> how how heavy and how tall is your character? Uh, it's not about that, it's about the strength. 
Yeah. Oh, I yeah. have a 20 strength, so. I have an 18. Ah. So it's a possibility. That either one of you should be able to pull the other one up from the ground. Or you push the other one. the one, and then the other one will be able to... <laughs> we'll pull you up. <laughs> yeah. Seems like a fair, fair thing. As far as throwing weight, I guess we do have to look at your full weight here. Which they don't list in this, which really pisses me off. There's little things that aren't listed on the Beyond sheet that really get to me. Alignment is one of the big ones. Well, if you must know, Axel, I am lawful good this time. I'm putting it in the notes. <laughs> you think I'm kidding, but I need notes, and I am putting them in the notes. Because it does not tell me on the stupid-ass fucking thing. Also, I can edit your guys' sheets, so... Lawful good, which pretty much an assumption for Paladin, let's be honest. I'm neutral good. Neutral good. Very nice. Very... I'm neutral, as always. I wouldn't expect it any other way. Yeah. Neutral good, and... And I'm also 160 pounds. 160 pounds uh what kind of gear are you wearing i am wearing uh it's always fun when you gotta look at the weight that is actually the list that you can go look i you am wearing oh no sorry wrong character 55 pound you are wearing 200 and chainmail 33 pounds of equipment and items combined yeah there's some of the stuff that i should get rid of because I wouldn't have another chain mail. I'll get rid of that other chain mail. I was going to say, yeah, there's... I, I also, that. with that much strength, you would not quite be burdened, I don't think, but you'd be damn close to your heavy burden. Yeah. I'm just trying to get rid of some of the stuff that I know I, I don't stated need that, you also crap. carry 130 pounds, Michael, so your total weight is going to come out to a little heavier than that. Oh, yeah. Uh, with my... All my carried stuff, I'm sitting at like 456 pounds. Yep. That is good to know. See, things like this are important for other things. That's well, what I, like. I don't know how to find where any of that is. <laughs> if someone was to lift me, that's how much they would be lifting. Oh, I know. I'm just saying it's also important for other things. But don't worry about it. <laughs> but don't worry about it. <clears throat> so I would like people to keep a decent track of their weight within... Yeah. 20, 20 pounds. Then, that way you're just not carrying the world on your back. Same with money, you know. I don't yeah. know if I ever added any inventory to this character. <laughs> In which case you have nothing in our vagabond. That's I would fine. have... Oh, oh, my bad. With all my items carried, that's 130 pounds. So the lifting weight that they would have to be able to lift is 440 pounds. Yeah, that sounds about right. Oh. Uh, Vana is... <laughs> probably going to be down to about 150 pounds plus her 160 so 310 yeah i'm at uh but uh don't worry about this too much but you know in the current time for now i have tinker's tool i do we, have a few things never mind nice for now yeah, we'll go with the that. assumption that you guys are strong enough to pick each other and each other's equipment up at an 18 and a 20 granted you will not be able to do it without making a roll right it won't just be a thing that we can do. Right, it's not, We you have know. to let the dice decide. Mm -hmm. You can't just randomly, you know, pick up 400 pounds even with a 20 fucking right. strength score. <coughs> right. Um, well, um, I also have some hemp and rope, so if I can get up there, I can try and find something to tie it to. I will also note that uh, getting over there, Michael needed to make a roll as well. Unless he, and if he didn't, I'll just. Oh, I, have to... I mean, I I didn't sneak over there. All right, no that guard absolutely saw you. He's like, "What are you guys doing over here?" Uh, inspecting the ship. Why? Who are you? This this Natives? ship. This ship has been cordoned off by the mayor. This this was the inn that we were staying in. We're we're just trying to make sure our stuff is fine, and if it's not, we we're trying to reclaim what can all, be reclaimed. All complaints should be taken up with the mayor's office. Is is that really necessary? We just don't want... I don't ask me. It's not my job. I'm a little guard man. They pay me like eight dollars an hour. I don't even know what dollars are. They don't use them here, <laughs> so I'm getting pretty fucked. 
come on, come on. From from one one soldier to another, it's a tough job. We're just gonna try and get in there, get our stuff, and get out. Is that all right? We can just give us. Or- are we rolling? Minutes. Are we rolling a persuasion with this, or are we just? Yes, we are. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I just always ask because there's talking, yep. and then there's talking. Yep, that that was <laughs> totally intended to be a persuasion. Good. So Very we'll good. see if my plus one charisma can do anything. <laughs> oh the... yeah, that's a nineteen, baby. Ooh, that is pretty good. Let's. I'm going to make. I should be either. I either have to make a roll against you with advantage, or make you roll with disadvantage because he is. A guard doing his job. <clears throat> I'm gonna go with, with yeah. I think I'm gonna go with advantage because you got a pretty good roll. Oh, yes. No, that's Wait, bad for that you. Bad... Yeah, oh! that's a bad for you. And the other one would have won too. Darn it! <laughs> I rolled a twenty and a nineteen. Oh, balls. He's like, sorry guys. I mean, I really like you know. You're a cool guy. I'm sorry for you and your stuff. I will, you know, I'll try to look out for some stuff, but let's be honest, there's there's basically just wood under there now. Wood and broken dreams and dead bodies. There were a lot of people in that inn when it died. Buildings can die, too. Would you have happened to see any of our companions in there? Uh, Did we you know this fat, drunk guy? The answer is yes. Yes, I did know a fat, drunk guy who was like, and I just motioned like how big he was. Yeah, yeah, he was. Uh, he was around, inside scrounging about doing stuff. We didn't know if he was uh, from here, or from somewhere else, or from the ship. What, what was his name? Oh Lord! Oh God! Uh, it's something uh, like I'm. Decker. I'm asking the. I'm oh, asking yeah. the DM because oh, yeah, yeah. do I actually it's, know that person's name? Uh, you. I feel like this party knows each other because it's if, especially with the setup of we were all chilling on the bluff. It's right. something you just you don't just like randomly meet up with strangers to chill on the bluff. Right. Most of the time. You do if it's a party. So his name was Decker. Yeah, and uh, if pretty much want, the moment if you he want his the... here's a little picture of him. Okay. The moment he said like that this dude was in there i would turn around start screaming decker's name and uh, just like he's gonna be like no 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 he he was in the ship oh he was in the ship yeah yeah like we show up and he was in the ship he said that he wasn't oh, in the ship gotcha. originally that he was chilling on you know ganker's bluff or whatever but I'm not from here, so I don't actually know any of the local landmarks. Hmm. Yeah, Genker's Bluff, that's where we were all chilling. Me and my friend here, we just kind of woke up for after our friends did. Yeah, I assume the loud exploding crash and the sound of screams probably did that. Woke you up you pretty good. So did... I'm asking the DM, did Decker leave? Like, would we know that he left or? Uh, so do we, do we still think that he's probably in there. So at this point, he hasn't really indicated to you either way. He just okay. said he was in there. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think I did say for a second that they took him for questioning. Oh, OK. Or maybe I forgot to. But yeah, uh, he was I saying that I forgot to. I might have forgot to. It's, it's tough because there's a lot going on. Got but him. yeah, basically he said, you know, we saw him in there. We didn't know if he was in there. He said he was from the bluff, but I didn't know. So they took, they just took him for questioning to, to, to see if he was innocent or guilty. He, he agreed to go without a fight so that he wouldn't start any ruckus. He looked like he could start a ruckus. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and unfortunately, uh, the mayor has asked that no one go in there as it is a danger of collapsing and catching on fire and exploding and becoming haunted. Haunted? And, well, it did just crush like 50 people. Oh. That, that's the stuff <laughs> ghost stories are made of. Yeah. You know. I'm actually uh, curious on why there aren't any onlookers. This place is usually pretty busy. We uh, absolutely cleared them out as well. Uh, the, the guards were asked to... Keep everyone away from the ship, including you. 
as far as I know. Uh, well, guess right. we should probably go and talk to the mayor about getting access to the ship. I, I would agree. Let's get out of here then. Yes. Do you have to know where the uh, mayor is currently located? I do, in fact. He is uh, out of town. Wait. Which is weird, because he gave the order to cordon this section off. Where hmm. did the order come from? That's a good question. You know, I never really questioned my orders before. See, sometimes as a soldier, you need to question your orders in order to get the right thing done. But they literally told me, don't question your orders! Damn them! That and, is and that the test. Seem, and that doesn't seem fishy to you. Well, I'm not a fisherman, so... Well, if the mayor's not here to punish you, why not just let us by? Well, to be fair, it's my boss who punishes me. But to be fair, he's the one who gave me the order, too. He said the mayor oh. said to say that. All right, then where's your boss? He's on the other side of the ship. His name's Harold. Okay. Harold. Hmm. Yeah, but it's with an E. Oh. Like, okay. Hey, you think we should go talk to Harold real quick? Uh, it sounds like a plausible thing to do, since he is this man's boss. Pretty sure he would sit just below the mayor's orders if it really was the mayor's orders. Right. Maybe he can give us access to the ship. Yeah, let's go talk to Harold real quick. So... So Harold will be to the north. Right. Please do not enter the ship while I turn my back to you. Gotcha. I'm going to make it to, like, here. <laughs> and then go I'm going to turn to the left, and I'm going to see, is there a hole? <laughs> I'm going to turn around and see if he's looking my way. Thank you for actually doing that and not just taking his word for it. Yep. <laughs> he is absolutely, he's a very, you know, trusting individual. He's like, they seem like good guys. So he's not looking. No, he's absolutely not looking. He gets paid $70 an hour, dude. He's paid to stand All there. Right. <laughs> so if there's a hole in the ship over here, I'm going to try and find it. Okay. Uh, you can see there are lots of holes in the ship. So probably every like five or 10 feet, there's a hole big enough for either one of you, even the Goliath to get through. Okay. Oh, big holes. Because remember, this is also a big ass ship. I'm ready to just get in there. Yeah. Get up in there. Meanwhile, uh, what's going on with you, Diffy? Cool. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> that was on mute. I was like, I'm going to... <laughs> Have you been talking the whole time and we're just not paying attention? It's just, uh, I no, just... I was staying quiet. I was just listening while you guys did your thing. You could have absolutely, like, snuck out of the ship or anything. <laughs> oh, no, I messaged you. I was trying to oh, see Oh, I didn't... Huh. Really? It didn't show. Weird. I, I'm good. I'm good if we say um, type of thing. Very much. While we're I talking, should just turn my messages thing. on. Yeah. It's uh, yeah. I'm I'm cool with that as well. I'll anything that's PM. There's actually a if I could remember how you guys can type to me actually by going slash GM I believe and just type. Well, uh, let me try. Oh, uh, sorry. Slash DM. Slash DM, oh, sorry. DM. Or no, it should be Game Master. Wait, how do you do... I just tried both and they didn't work. Yeah, both are unrecognized. Oh. Well, apparently there are other ways to do it, like just clicking someone's name in the player directory and just pushing send private message. That sounds that does sound complicated. Why is this so complicated? God, Jesus Christ. Or you can just check your messages like you tell us. I try. <laughs> I don't get noises and that one didn't ding. Also, it says you're <laughs> offline right now. Weird. Well, either way, you don't typically get the sound effects when, um, when you're, you're streaming. streaming. Yeah. Right. 
Yeah, if yours enters streaming mode, you won't get I that. I should just put it in a different audio output. Because I can, damn it. Eh. It's, it's so easy, but it's so boring. Okay, slash W. And then GM. Space GM is how you do it. It's just... And it'll come up with my little tag... If you feel like it. If not, I will ah. be checking my messages. That's just another way if you don't want to go off screen. Yep. Gotcha. Boo. Nice to see you. And if you wanted to message anybody else, say you wanted to keep something secret from me, which don't you dare. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you can message other people as well by typing in their name. So, for instance, I think this should work. Yeah, it worked for me. Yep. Good. That means it worked. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you guys are free to hop in. You know, if you'd like to make some rolls or take some time to be stealthy and stuff to get in there. As for Diffie, you can do what you need to do. And I will continue to try to look at uh, private messages and stuff. Um, do I have to roll for that? I don't know if it says it. Oh, hold on. I don't I think, think so. Just... Yeah, I think you just have to do it. So what happens when I did that thing? So, let me double check this. Ba, 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 da. All right, well, two things. You guys continue, Diffie, this takes time. It takes a minute per page you read, oh, which that's is, fine. That's why I, I yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just letting you know, I'll, I'm going to decode it for you while it goes. I'm going mute while you guys go ahead and try to get into the boat. I will respond in text, but I'm just typing a bunch of shit to Diffie. So I don't want to have gotcha. you. Yeah. You don't want to be, you know, I'm also going to be dabbing. So I don't want to put a fire <laughs> in your ear, but yes, uh, <laughs> go ahead and do your guys thing. Do we have to make any rolls to get in there? I would assume that we probably have to maybe even make dexterity or athletics checks. If if it's high up, we might have to do that. Um, but if it's more on the ground, I might be able to just walk in. Um, okay, the entries are about 10 to 20 feet up at least. So we'll have to make strength or dexterity checks to the entry so <coughs> well i'll do a strength check then because i <laughs> my dexterity bonus is a zero so um he said that athletics is acceptable so if you have proficiency in athletics oh yeah i have a plus nine to athletics oh i got a plus eight let's go um uh, so i'll do my athletics to get in <laughs> Ooh. Damn. <laughs> All right, I'll see Starting you. Off strong. <laughs> I'll see you having done that, and I'm just gonna be like, um, "All right, all right, big man. This is this is how you do it." I'm gonna like clap, rub, get some dirt on my hands, rub it together, just kind of like ready to rock climb type of deal. And rolls on that one. And I rolled a 13 plus eight, so I get a 21. How's that, DM? <laughs> Waits for response. <laughs> Thumbs up, yo! <laughs> so I go all the way to the top, and I I kind of look back down at you and wink. I'm just going to sit on the edge of the hole until you can get up here, and I'm just going to kind of like just taunt you a little bit, like kicking my legs back and forth. You want, some, you want some help? I can give you some help. I'm a proud Goliath Paladin. I can do this. I'm going to use my athletics once more to attempt to get my fat ass up there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get that ass up here. <laughs> hey. See? It's a little bit of teaching. That's all you need. 
little bit of uh... <laughs> slap you on the butt cheek and walk. Ooh. Which your butt cheek is probably like at my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like it's like I was gonna give you a, a a little like shoulder tap, but it's just your butt cheek. What what race are you again? I'm an ASMR. Oh no, I'm I only stand seven foot eight. Oh, you're seven foot eight? Oh okay. yeah. I'm five what did I say? Five six? Five nine maybe? Alright. So it's not that it's not that much lower. Yeah, Goliaths only reach between seven and nine foot. Okay. You, what you're thinking about are giants. That's what I'm thinking. That's right. Goliaths are half pretty much like half giant, half man type deal. They're like right yeah. in the middle. Um, okay, so we have opened, we have entered an older ship. There are boxes littering the bow. I was gonna say bowls, the bowels <laughs> and the cobwebs covering everything. All right, so the defining feature of my ASMR is that when I get into dark spaces, my eyes actually like glow a color. And in order to keep myself a little bit less visible, I have these goggles that I pull down that actually mute that glow. So now my goggles just like have like this nice white kind of blind eye look to them. Um, Nifty. So that's what I do when I enter in if it's darker in there. Um. Boxes littering the bowels and cobwebs covering everything. You know, mm. for a ship that's been flying and just crashed, these cobwebs are kind of uh, yeah. concerning. You'd think that you'd think these cobwebs would be full of spiders instead of already vacant of them. Oh, I was more concerned the fact that there is cobwebs. Well, yeah. I get that. So it was either falling for a really, really, really long time, or something fishy's going on here. Uh, How would we know? We're not fishermen. Do you have, do you, as a, is it, is it, DM, is it, really dark in here like do we have to have dark vision in order to see or is it light outside and with all the brokenness can we actually see around because i believe i have dark vision uh, i don't know where this is on this sheet i gave him lots of homework to do <laughs> <laughs> Positive ambient light for most people to see without dim lighting. Okay. With dim light. Okay. Um, all right. I'm going to. I'm assuming that we're probably in a room because we're in the side of the ship. Um, so I'm going to try and find a way to get maybe to the top of the ship. He also, he said nothing about Diffie, what's your character's name? Uh, fuck, I don't remember her name. Oh, that's <laughs> a very interesting name. Neely. <laughs> yeah, Neely? The fuck, if I remember. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, the fuck for short. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the, the guard never said anything about Neely. He only said anything about I don't remember the other guy's name. I'm really bad with names. So Decker. I don't know if Decker. I don't know if she's still in here or if she made it out another way. So maybe maybe we should keep our eyes open a little bit. Well, Neely is uh she has a tendency to be sneaky. Hmm, okay. So there's a bunch of boxes around kind of at the bottom of the ship. So there's a stairway in the center that leads to the top. Um I think first of all you interested in these boxes at all? I'm partially curious to see what's inside that. Hmm. If there even is. All right, I'll I'll see if I can find a 
broken open box so i don't have to try and open a box that might be trapped or some for some reason i'll just try and find an open one that i can see the contents inside i believe that would require you to make a perception check yes i don't know if it's perception or investigation but i will roll and then whatever the dm tells me i will add the correct thing he says either will work. Okay. So I will do... Well, they're both the exact same. So I got a 16. So hopefully 16 finds something. This is like... It does. You have uh, opened hey. up a crate, and uh, luckily, with a you know a sixteen roll, you find some old cloth, probably two rolls. However, the cloth seems to be pretty badly damaged. It's pretty old, like very many years of dust and erosion, as well as bugs and maybe some animals. You also find maybe like some old you know bug carapaces in there that have been crushed up does it look like a fine cloth or is it like more of a it looked like it used to be maybe a hempen cloth like maybe a okay. uh, something that you would have used to create rigging or you know what i mean or uh, sails etc yeah. but now it's actually become yeah. quite thin huh man this this stuff is decayed and that's not something that happens within a matter of a few hours, if that, since crashing. This place is weird. Uh, uh, I'm, not, a, I'm not liking this one bit. Yeah, you're a paladin. You got anything, anything you're, you're whoever it is that gives you your stuff? Anything they can do to see if things are a bit weird here? I don't know. Well, I could divine sense, see if I can detect mm -hmm. any good or evil around here. Which would also allow me to detect the location of Celestials, Fiends, and Undead in 60 feet of me. Hmm. Should we do that here? You think we should do that more near the center, at the top? I don't know. I think we should do it when we get up on the deck. Gotcha. All right. I'll start making my way towards the towards the stairway. And I will follow him. Her. Her. I will follow her. <laughs> yeah, I might sound manly, but that's just the steroids, son. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll make it to the stairway and... I'm going to slowly go up the stairs just in case I'm getting, I'm, there's just a bad feeling about this. I'm going to get high enough that I can peek over to just kind of view the, the deck of the ship and see what, what's going on. If there's any creatures or anything out of the ordinary up there. So I'll make Actually, that what I'm going to do is as we reach the steps, and start going up them, I'm going to use Divine Sense there. Okay. Do, we'll do that before I make my perception check. So yeah, as we reach the steps, I use uh, Divine Sense. Alrighty, and that's Celestial's evil... Uh, that good. is Celestial's fiend, undead, uh, good, and evil. Yeah, it has a lot of stuff. You don't really... I guess you notice one good entity. Is it good? I thought it was only Fiend and Evil. Nope. It, uh, as an action, you can detect good and evil until the end of your next turn. You can sense anything affected by the hollow spell or know the location of any celestial fiend undead within 60 feet. That is not behind total cover. Oh, that's right. Covered destroys it, which makes it basically useless. 
So weird. Yeah. Um, unless there happens to be quote unquote skeletons nearby. But like you said, it would allow you to a wall, yeah. then it can't sense through a wall. Right. Which would That's include covered. a floor. Yeah. But let's say there's like a pile of bones. Yes. That's the the thing is, once oh, okay. you get yeah. into a room, it would be useful. It would not let you see into an area of which you could not already see things. Or so yeah, because total the cover is then have wall with so the, the stairs. It does not, but think of it as this: like you wouldn't until your head goes over the top, right? You anything above it would still have total cover. Actually, until your arms came over the top, technically, or whatever your attack method, you would still have total cover. And technically, for that, you would it would just be sight line. But if you if they can't see you at all, that's still total cover. Well, it it, it lasts until the end of my next turn. So okay, as so I, you're just going I, to keep it on right now, so that when you pop yes. up, you'll immediately be able to detect. Is that what I'm? Yes. You're basically yes. readying your. <laughs> yes. Okay. I'm just like, why you've been in this room now for a little while? <laughs> well, this is at the bottom of the steps. Yes. So anything no. that you can see that is directly in front of the steps or, or anything that's... Or would be off to the side within... Vision. Cover. Cover is vision. Yes. Available to yes. see. Yes. So if I'm at the bottom of the steps, I would be able to see a little bit to the left and the right of the steps as well. Very, very little. It's a very narrowing experience coming from the bottom of a stairway. Now, as you get closer, that will expand. Now, were you just at the top of a stairway before coming to the top of the side at arches? You would have even more expanded vision because you're closer. So what you're saying is, is as I have it casted to move up... It'll expand, yes. yes. It basically flowers open as your vision and light pours in. That's That's kind of what I'm wanting to happen. Okay. Just in case there happens to be a something that we missed. All right, so, uh, and you're both going up the stairway at the same time. It is a dual stairway, so you can definitely do it. It's pretty big. I'm all about yeah. that. All right. Yes. Um, Coming at you like a Fast and Furious shot. Just as your f head pops over the tip, you need to make a ref reflex roll. Uh, so dexterity saving yep. throw? Yep, which gets plused thanks to somebody's... Aura. Thanks to my thanks to my aura of protection, you get a yep. plus three to it. That's the only auto uh, one I'm giving you. You will have to state it and remind everyone yourself every time from here on out. Now, as a um, level two barbarian, um, I have danger sense. You have advantage on dexterity saving throws against effects that you can see while not blinded, deafened, or incapacitated. Would I be able to see this? No. It is not a okay. sight-based reaction thing. Gotcha. So I don't have advantage. Cool. No. So... Oh, fuck. Ooh. Uh, let's see. Eight. Well, good. Two, uh, plus, nice well, auto plus. fell. And what did... what did And you have a plus three to it as it well? It doesn't matter. Um, for well, me, for you it, it does, yeah. But for him, oof. 13 for me total. Okay. I feel like that's decent. Um, it was an eight, and then it dropped to thirteen. So, about halfway up the stairs, your combined weight has overcome the capacity of these old <laughs> stairs. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, as you know, you're going up, you hear a loud, loud creak, and the stairs shatter beneath you. Uh, luckily, Gamma, your character is able to jump real quick, lift their arms, and grab onto the edge of the walkway, you know, this the edge of the stairway, I guess you could say. I'm molding it. Yeah, whatever. The floor of the next level. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the ceiling, the floor, whatever you want to call it, it's all relative. But you're able to grab onto that and hold on, we'll say. You know, you guys are pretty strong. I feel like that's a given that you can hold yourself. Yeah. Uh, Michael. Yep. <laughs> you weren't paying attention. You were just getting up them stairs. You were like, all right, I got my divine sense on. No surprises coming at me. Once we get up here, I'll know if somebody is up here. 
I just see him as like Rocky, like getting ready for yes, the fight. Yes, so that's exactly how I he's imagine. Like, he's like cracking his neck. He's, he's like, I got my like, aura on. Just no, <laughs> ten feet too. It's about ten foot drop. So I believe. Faster, dude. Oh god, that's always. It's just always so fun to do those ones because it's no one's expecting that. Everyone's expecting no. a trap. No yeah. <laughs> Everyone's expecting. Hey, the fucked up part is I even gave warning this time i said i was like hey you remember how much you weigh keep that in mind <laughs> that's right we fatties <laughs> you big big old chunkies oh well, big chungus i'm i'm the fucking big chungus here well you're both okay. pretty chunky you're I'm for you're for something he's <laughs> she's three something totally get ready, get you're near, ready for this venus line. Literally, some of your fights are just gonna be you sitting on people. Just, <laughs> We're just gonna be Gimli at the end of the two towers. And <laughs> Jesus Christ! In there. But the person's gonna be alive, and they're like, I can't move. All right. Uh, so that is uh one d six damage. Four damage. Roll it? Nah, I, I rolled oh. it this time. You can roll it next time. I always let people decide that you can always roll your old damage if you want. Although if you roll your own damage, you gotta roll it in game. Well, I'm I'm going to accept that damage. I ain't gonna waste shit, even though I could, but I'm not going to. <laughs> well, remember, <laughs> any time you use things like saves and stuff, it's almost always listed in the book as before results are listed. So say you had oh, you like actually, used... what I could have done is I could have used stone endurance. That you can use, yes, which is a reaction. That's... But that is is not going to stop the damage from happening it just stops you from taking damage you know what i'm saying yeah. as opposed to let's say you had a ring of reaction or whatever or reflexes that can let you re-roll a failed saving throw you have to do that before i tell you the result of this uh -huh. right uh, well obviously i'm just saying i could have used stone endurance yes. which yeah, as yeah. a reaction reduced damage dealt to you by 1d12 plus 3 once per short rest I'm not gonna waste that on a four damage falling. Especially considering that's literally the least amount of damage that you can get from that. That's <laughs> if you roll a one, it still covers it all. Mm -hmm. At least try for something big. Anyway, yeah. uh yeah, uh you do that and you make somewhat of a noise. Cause obviously you fell through and broke the fucking thing. <laughs> I almost wanna let's see. High or low, Michael? Fuck. Low. All right, you're uh, falling all the way to the lowest no, deck. He he no, I was about to say that the low is always to pick for the roll. You got lucky. I'm gonna say you picked the right one, and uh, yeah, you did not fall through, but you did crack some of the planks on the floor that you're currently sitting on. <laughs> I should say sitting, but it's more like laying. Let's be honest. And uh, yeah, there you guys go. Well, I'm going to uh, kind of roll over, if I can, out of the cracked area and try to stick it up. You can try. I'll, uh, I'll try and pull myself up and get to, the, get to the actual deck. That's when you go to pull yourself up and roll in that one. We'll see. If I need a roll, I am super strong already. Uh, I think you can get up there without a roll, just taking a 10. That's the thing. You guys are strong. A 10 for you is like a 14. So yeah. that's pretty much good enough to get you and your equipment up, I'd say. So so am I actually on the deck then, or am I just on a stair? Like, did I just pull myself no, up so you would have pulled yourself up onto the deck, which would be this. Okay. This would be the second deck, I guess. Because you get first, mm -hmm. second, third. I guess I'm not doing Litos and shit. Fuck all that. Um, <laughs> I don't know what that means, so I appreciate it. Cool. But, uh, yeah, and uh, up there, you know, you're just uh, chillaxing. All right, uh, I'll pull out my... Is there is there, like, a big mast or something? Like, something sturdy that wouldn't be rotting enough that I could tie hemp and rope to? To throw down so that he could climb up there does seem even with passive perception just looking around you can see that there are some poles 
just like wooden staffs that are keeping this overall structure of the you know floors together uh that okay. there are a couple that seem to be sturdy enough that you wouldn't you know be risking anybody's life or maybe yeah. you know the, the pole itself by tying on the <laughs> rope right hey just wait there for a second don't jump or anything or fart too loudly i'm just gonna i'm gonna tie something off up here and i'll get a rope down there soon so i'll go over and i'll tie the rope around it and then drop it down but i'll also hold on to the rope just to make sure it has a little bit more sturdiness to it so that he can pull himself up as long as he doesn't roll in that one <laughs> again <laughs> yes i mean axel knows how my rolls usually go yep all right would you say i'd use athletics to climb up the rope uh yeah or strength okay. honestly it's either strength or athletics like their descriptions don't match what i would often I mean, it says to climb, but it doesn't say rope specifically. But then you have like strength, and it'll say to pull self up. Or sorry, stealth. Like if it just goes straight strength. I guess it's not because save strength only applies to a saving throw. I guess, which is weird. Yes. So I guess athletics it is. All right. So I'm going to uh, use my athletics to climb up the rope that my partner <laughs> tossed down to me. Yay. <laughs> fucking Christ. Oh, wow. At least you have that plus fucking nine level 10. God. <laughs> uh, we'll say that, you know, he can get up the rope, but it's going to take him a second because he sucks. Zeke. <laughs> I mean, I'm also carrying 130 pounds worth of equipment. That's that's why yeah. you're lucky we let you up the rope at all. <laughs> Fucking rope of, uh, can only handle so much weight, dude. He'd have to double knot right. that bitch for you. I was I was holding on to it as well to try. Right, but I mean the actual strength of the rope can only hold oh. so much weight. It can hold. That's true. It can probably hold four they're or five hundred pounds. They're thick hempen ropes, though. Yeah, that one can probably hold. Yeah. Four hundred pounds. Ah, like, man, four hundred pounds is a lot of weight, though, dude. Yeah, that's beef. It's it's a lot. I'm just it's trying to think of. Beef. It's it can just not for an extended period of time. Like if you yeah. hung that there for an hour, it would absolutely get stressed and snap over time. Maybe Especially not an in hour. This place where everything's decayed already. Yeah. Suck the life out of it. That's the other thing. You don't want to stress that beam too long. Oh, that's that's the one that I was really holding the rope for, so that the <laughs> beam didn't break. All right. Well. I'll, once he gets up, I'll untie the, I'll untie the knot and put away the rope. And I'll say, let's go one at a time this time for the rest of this, <laughs> this thing. No, no couples dancing anymore. Uh, that sounds good. I don't want to fall over again. That didn't feel too good. Sounds about right. Um. So did you then actually do your divine sense? Because if so, did you notice anything when you fell through the floor? That's... I don't know. Um... You you had it prepped, so I mean, you uh, you know, when you were down there, nothing. Uh, as soon as you came up here, you noticed him. Oh. Yes. Oh, well, you're I, you're the only. Uh... I think. Let me double check. Let me double double yeah, check. I, I... I believe I'm part as an ASMR. I'm part celestial. Yes. So you you are an uh, outsider or something, something yeah. like that. But regardless, your character is also good, even if it's partial good. Oh, true. So and I'm concerned about is that one, and that one I'm fine with. Yep. Cool. So, uh, oh, sorry, I forgot. I keep forgetting to press enter on this. I'm so sorry. Okay. <laughs> You're free to do stuff now, obviously. And you guys are free to do what you would as well. Uh, this new oh, floor actually seems to be a little more compartmentalized. There seem to be some sleeping quarters and some hallways. 
So this is seems to be the crew quarters. Gotcha. Hmm. And then I'm gonna... are there are there any any like doorways or anything that look like they were open and not like ru- like destroyed or decayed away that some person might like, most of the or... doorways on this floor actually seem open uh okay. with the exception of one where there seems to be a destroyed doorway at the far end of probably the north hall imagine mm-hmm. it like a straight shot from one end of the uh ship to the other hallway with some gotcha. intersecting hallways in the center your stairwell would have been like right here near the southern side uh-huh and so you would be on a cross t of a uh, back forward oh gotcha you know what this kind of makes me think of what the ghost ship from legend of dragoon shut the fuck up <laughs> <laughs> it's not a ghost ship <laughs> We're actually just Maybe. playing Legend of Dra- Dragoon right now. Look, I don't <laughs> steal all my ideas from other better sources. <laughs> Cough like everybody in Hollywood. Cough. <laughs> all right, I peek my head out to see if there's if the guards are still around. Okay, so you. I guess. Um, there. Hmm? I need to roll a perception check. No, but you would have been able to hear the loud crashing coming from beneath you. Ah, okay. Alright, so I peek out. Do I, are they still below me? Yeah. Sorry, I gotta go mute for a second to take a dab. If you get all the freaking secrets, <laughs> everybody <laughs> trusts you so much. You're not trustworthy. My character's <laughs> not a trustworthy person. <laughs> she just pretends to be. <laughs> but that's good. You might just think that she's the most trustworthy person. She's a hero. All right, so. <laughs> come, Come on, come. How, how well do I know your character? Because if I know that you fabricate things a lot, I'm going to be inside checking you a heck of a lot. I don't know. Should we roll for that? Do you know who the Muffin Man is? I can believe that's between you two. Do you know the Muffin Man? Have you felt the, the Muffin Man? Up? The Muffin Man! <laughs> who lives on Dreary Lane? Well, he's married to the Muffin Man. The Muffin Man. The, the very same. Oh my god, okay. I forgot what I was already doing. You were peeking your head out of a door. Okay, I was peeking my head out. I don't notice anything, but I did hear the crash, so I sneak out from where I was hiding. Um, oh yeah. I was doing something, but then I I got distracted with the crash. All right, so then I sneak out, and I guess I start going down to see what the ruckus is. I don't know how well she sneaks. Stealth. Oh, plus eight. Okay, I could do that. <laughs> I could do the thing. All right, so um, D20. Eight. Yeah. Fourteen. Okay, so I... <laughs> dang. Well, it's higher than my passive perception. I don't. Oh, know. that's not well, that's not the passive that's perception. That's that's for her to how sneaky she's been. Well, yeah. So like I'm saying that that's higher than my passive perception. So I would never know. <laughs> so I'm sneaking and peeking over and seeing if I um notice what's going on with the noise and stuff. If it is the guard or if it's one of my friends or someone else. Alright, do I need to do a perception check, I guess? Perception. To see if I notice if it's you guys. Oh, sure. I'll do that. It's either that or what? Investigation? What do you guys think? I feel either would work. Okay. Perception. Performance. Perception. Oh, they're the same. Wait. Yeah, they're the same. 
Taza. Dang. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh wow. So I don't know what's happening. I don't know who's down there. So then I kind of just like wait and listen to see what's going on. I, I keep my sneaks. All right, I'm gonna just start peering through doorways just to, just to get a feel for what's going on in this place. Are you peering through the door that I'm behind? <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to start. I'm going to go left doorway, right doorway, left doorway, right doorway. Be Making careful. Towards the north of the ship. Be careful. Neely likes to be around naked sometimes. Yeah, so Would do I. <laughs> Who's to say we're not being naked together? <laughs> I'm a paladin. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I mean, no, I totally joined the Paladin Order to get chicks. You, yeah, religion gets chicks, boys. You, you, so you, you, you crit failed on that one? <laughs> <laughs> you, you joined a celibate order to get chicks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like all the Women Jedi. I love a man in uniform. <laughs> I mean, have you seen this uniform? Points on his shiny armor. <laughs> Just be careful if you ever meet Dave. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so <laughs> he'll fight for you naked if she needs to. <laughs> <laughs> oh um, okay, if I was heading towards you and I wasn't sure, and if you're peeking through all the doors, I'm assuming eventually you'll peek through the one I'm in. So I'm just gonna go back. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Like, no. Ah! Oh. <laughs> oh. You've got to stop doing this. You're the one that did it. I am a weak bladder and you know it, so stop. <laughs> You're oh, the one that came in through dear. the door and not me. I've been sitting here. Uh... Oh, but thank God it's you. Holy fuck. <laughs> with, what, what have you been doing in here? What uh, What is going on with this place? Are you I decrepit know, now? Everything no, here is decrepit. No. Does this body look decrepit to you? I am sorry. I don't know. I'll have to see it in its uh, original form. Um, maybe, maybe later. All right, cool. But, um, yeah, no. There were guards around while while we were checking out the boat, and then I had to freaking hide. Were the guards looking for you? or They took our friend. What's his face? <laughs> Derek. I yeah, remembered yeah, his name this time. Yeah, him. Decker. That Decker! Decker! Darn it! <laughs> I remembered his name as a dyslexic person. <laughs> okay, names are so so how did they not find you? What were I, you doing? I freaking hot hid. Fuck that. Have you found anything interesting here? Maybe. It's a tea. Well, I'm interested in interesting things. Maybe I'll share my secrets. Maybe. Perhaps. Perhaps. That's Perhaps. that's when Kapoor comes up from behind. What's oh, your not... character name, Gamma? Uh, Ivana. Ivana. Comes up from behind Ivana. Secrets are always good to share, especially if they're of the arcane. It's good to see you looking as good as you usually do. Really? Sorry, I missed of course you did. You missed my character flirting with yours slightly. <laughs> <laughs> my character doesn't pay much attention to things. It doesn't bother. But she did notice that you were talking about... What? <laughs> what about me? Oh, hi. It's all right. It wasn't very yes, good flirting anyway. No, no, it wasn't. <laughs> he's, he's a paladin. He doesn't flirt. He knows charisma's high as fuck, so he doesn't have to word it perfectly. <laughs> Me am sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I did get distracted though because Tony just got home and the dog is all excited and things are loud. <laughs> oh. Um. Do you, do you happen to hear anything? Like, were the guards saying anything while they were coming through before they were talking to Decker or anything? They seem to possibly be here under false pretenses and i'm kind of curious about that 
I really don't know anything about the guards other than the fact that they took that one dude. Our friend, mm. what, what's his face? Um, Decker. Decker, yes, him. Okay, so they all I know is that they took him, um, but before that, um, hides some something behind her back. I mean, maybe I could share if you're nice. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna do a uh, perception to see if I see her hide that. I mean, I feel like the po- the her saying she hid that and putting it behind her back is a more obvious action than just doing nothing. <laughs> Yeah, she she did a thing. You can tell that. She- yeah. Oh, so you don't want me to roll for it? No, it's fine. You can tell that she did it. Well, yeah, you're fuck not your exactly, rolls. She's trying to, you're not exactly. She's trying to entice you to to pay up. She wants you to ask and give her stuff. Yes. Okay, I will. Uh, I will lift my goggles. And I will. I won't say that I I had any weapons brandished, so I will. I'll just get up next to her, and I'll just start twirling with some of her hair, oh, get kind of close to her <laughs> cheek, and just be like, "Well, you know, we could uh, possibly do something." And I'm just gonna make a grab for the book. <laughs> <laughs> reflex rolls. Yes. I, I guess that w- it's either that or grappling, but I feel like that one's reflex. So. <laughs> So what specifically would I roll for here? For um, honestly, a straight dexterity check, or I think straight dexterity because it's really about having the swiftness and agility of both I fingers mean, and hands. Cool. Wouldn't it also be sleight of hand? I think sleight of hand would make sense. I feel like it isn't though because sleight of hand is like tactile, but this is not at all tactile. Oh uh, yeah, no. Well, yeah. technically, because sleight of hand. Well, he, yeah, but that not with his hands. That's like a distraction thing, if anything, on top of it. Like, for his one... It, yeah, it's not like I was trying to do that and sneak my hand behind you and take it right. from you. Right, it's not it like... It was a yeah. big brand. Whenever you attempt an act of, legend, of ledger main or manual trickery, such as planting something like an object, uh, <laughs> or determine if you can, like, lift a purse, it's to do things sneakily or skillfully with your hands, not to, like grab something and fucking yeah if anything it's it's either dexterity or just straight grapple strength um i'm i'm going straight for the object so i'm not gonna grapple so i'll just do dexterity okay uh that's not awful it's a 15 i'm gonna guess that i have to go against her right. dexterity <laughs> yep good luck Wait, Not would my old. would my aura of so I have to roll her... victories too. I don't feel yeah, like this is a saving throw. I feel like this is a con a contesting. Yeah. So which one would I roll then? Just my reflex. Dex? Yeah. Yeah. So just just add your dexterity modifier. Ah. Uh, okay. Oh. Oh. That's the exact same thing. <laughs> See, and these ones are versus contests, so I think that's a reroll in, as opposed to a. Okay. Okay. Mm. Oh, oh no! Dude. Oh, I you're in trouble. Roll, I need to roll a natural twenty on this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I rolled an eleven, so that's mm-hmm. a thirteen. So I totally. So she backs away. Well, yep, she grabs it. Yep, she's like, no. <laughs> Basically, you you like go to grab it and get your hands on it, but then she's like, no. <laughs> no, you got me all excited now. How dare you? <laughs> eh, I'm an exciting person. That you are. So, um, yeah, see what you're going to get me. Holds the paper out, <laughs> but uh, like behind her further so, so she can't reach. <laughs> um... Kapura is just kind of standing back, arms crossed, tapping his arm, his hand. Let's see. What can I do here? <laughs> <laughs> All right. This time I'm going for a grapple. I'm going to try and tackle her. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. 
I got a feeling. Oh no! <laughs> uh, would that be with a grapple? That would be athletics or acrobatics, right? A uh, grapple would be strength based for sure. Yeah, it's it's right. strength. Especially it's when just... you're, especially when you're on the attack. So when you're on the attack, right. it's purely strength. When under the defense, you get to choose. So then, could I use athletics because that is no. based, or is it just straight no. strength? Grapple is completely different. It is completely only strength. Yep. Gotcha. Unless you have okay. a skill that changes your grapple modifier, which okay, nobody. Then I am at a thirteen total. All right, you gotta make that. Uh... See, she gets to choose. Yeah, she gets to choose. Dexterity I or strength. Oh, I choose dex. <laughs> <laughs> My strength is crap. Okay. I'm not crap, but I'm just gonna do the rolling. Is this gonna do the thing? Oh! Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> well, you tackled her. Girl, no, fight! <laughs> get off, get off, it's mine. <laughs> I'm just gonna like. Give me one moment. I gotta go open up the damn handbook now for sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, what's the paladin's name again? Ka Kapura. Kapura. I'm, I'm gonna make a note of that. You just, just do a nickname for everyone. That's what I do. Kip. Is it K I P? K A P. All right, Cap. Cap. All right, Cap. <laughs> Captain America. Um. <laughs> There's Cap also a paladin, so that actually works really well. <laughs> it really, it really does. Yeah. Cap, come, come, grab the paper. I can't do everything right now. <laughs> I mean, <sighs> fine. <laughs> Kapura walks over. <sighs> I'm just trying to splay out and be as heavy as I can for her, so that she can't lift herself up. <laughs> Wiggles, no! Oh, 174 of the PHP. Y'all are so childish sometimes. Grabs the paper. Hey! <laughs> Alright, and that's about six seconds, so... I think now you have to... Sorry. Ooh, excuse me. Have to what? You're gonna have to roll every round for that contesting of the strength of the decks. Ah. Uh, yes. Once you're grappled. So, uh, yeah, I'm grabbing the oh, paper. Oh snap! 22. Oh fuck! Slaps the bitch. Get off me. Ooh. Uh, sixteen <laughs> plus four. Darn it! Twenty. Yeah, she pushes you off. Darn. Yeah, that's rough. All right, then I will. I will try and maneuver between her and. Kapura. <laughs> okay. That she can't just get right back at it. Alright, you're gonna be the blocking little, force. Little, 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 <laughs> this is such well, a six-year-old. Like, <laughs> well, as I as... like, I'm uh, the way that I'm thinking my character's doing it is not like as an attack, but more as like a. I know she's a trickster and she's being playful th with this, so I'm just trying to be playful as well. <laughs> True. Um, I'm actually going to, uh, as I see her get free of her, I'm going to kind of glare and tell her to behave herself as an intimidation. Ooh. <laughs> so I'm going to roll my intimidation now. What do I need to roll to counteract that? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, Fuck! I have a plus seven. I am getting shitty rolls. I hate this site. <laughs> it's like you, you, you can trust your your dice. I actually might switch to dice. This site's fucking me so hard. <laughs> My metal dice are treating me well tonight, except for that nine or whatever I got earlier. What is the highest I rolled tonight so far? I think it was I think it was oh. the test one you did at the beginning. No, it was a 16 to do the athletics to get oh. into the ship after parkour. you had failed that already. Parkour. Parkour. <laughs> parkour. parkour. <laughs> like I actually parkoured all the way up there and you did the Michael
parkour. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we're just going to have a charisma score resist for now. Mm. The thing is, it's one of those things where you can never make a player do anything. I always do put it in that, like... If you can make a monster intimidated, then obviously you should be able to intimidate a player, but it's the player's decision on what to do once they're intimidated. That doesn't mean that you stop doing this or that. Yeah, well, you uh, <laughs> didn't intimidate her. She looks at you and goes, pfft. <laughs> Hand it over. Mine. Well, I think you should actually share this with the party. You I know, don't if have you... a problem sharing with the party. I just want support. Yeah, you'll get something for it. You'll get help. <laughs> yeah, you know there's those guards that were in here that took uh, Decker away. He, they're still outside this ship, so we know how to get past them. <coughs> Speaking of, who's inside? <laughs> I heard oh, really? something crash and break. Does that sound like the dude we were talking about earlier? Talking to earlier? Yeah, it sounds like him. Okay. Oh, really? So we're going to, like, get away from them without them knowing? Right. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, uh... Hey, Cap. How deep and monstrous can you make your voice sound? Do you think you could... make it sound like you're a real bad guy so he runs away? Eh? You're asking a Goliath. If a Goliath can make himself sound scary. <laughs> yeah? <sighs> I suppose I could give it a shot. Maybe. Possibly. Okay, cool. I was wondering. Out of character. It all really depends on how much the dice gods hate me tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so the real answer is no. Hey, you never know. I might roll a nat 20 on the intimidation. Nah, that never happens. And then bam, nat 20 to spite me. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, yeah, I'm going to use intimidation to make myself, make my voice deep and extremely terrifying sounding i feel like this is already becoming specific enough to be a dual role but let's get on with it <laughs> <laughs> so i'll i'll do the roll please intimidation please high roll <laughs> oh, all right yeah. all right let's make a uh, let's make a roll here oh yeah he's like uh, <clears throat> one sec i'm gonna do this just in case yeah yeah <laughs> Is it? Is it? <laughs> 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 he ran away. <laughs> he ran so fast. <laughs> <laughs> Marty, where we're going, we don't need those. Harold! <laughs> <laughs> All right, um... <laughs> It sounds like he ran home to get a change of drawers. Um, should we continue searching, or do we want to get out of here? Sure, fine. That was not an answer to a question of one or the other. You just said okay to <laughs> an option question. I mean, obviously look for things. You know I like things. You can continue to look for things. I'm going to read these papers. <laughs> Good luck with that. All right, Axel, what do I need <laughs> to roll to read these papers? <laughs> well. Well, I'll do a perception to see if it's in a language I know. There you go. That's a nice start. I'd, Which... I'd like to at least look at it just to see if and, it's... And someone oh, said, yeah. It. That's what I was going to say. Someone once told me, they're like, well, you should automatically be able to tell if you know lang to read something by looking at it if it's in language. No, you need to read it for a second and be sure. In All many right. cases, certain languages are very similar. So, yeah, I'm rolling my perception now. Oh, please. High roll. No! Oh, nice. shit. You don't know this language at all. Uh! Oh, oh, crap. Liz, her hands up a little bit. I know what it says. 
Uh, does an 11 notice if I understand this language? I feel like it does. Let's see what your languages are. I know Celestial in common. You also don't know this language. How about that? Guess what I was doing this whole time. <laughs> Reading the freaking pages. <laughs> well, it's nice that you are able to read them, Neely, but... Literacy is share. always amazing. You're gonna have to share this information with us. I could. I like too that you guys it stole it and still couldn't read it. What? What do you want for the information? I mean, if you won't share the information from us, I'll just keep it from you and take it to someone who can read it. You're breaking up pretty bad. I can't hear what you're saying. He's. He I said, saying, it, oh. if you will not oh. share the information with us, I heard. I will find someone who knows this language, and get them to decipher it for us. I didn't hear a word you said. Yeah, he, you... He's going to... Uh... Find somebody... You find someone else! going to read it for <gasps> <Rude>. him. <laughs> I don't know what he said! <laughs> I mean, if you won't act as a party member, we'll just keep the rest of the information from you that you don't know. Oh, really? What information do you know? That this is not celestial, common, or giant language. We're real smart like that. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm pretty sure there's someone in this town diverse with multiple languages that will be able to decipher this for us. You could, or you could just owe me a favor. Owe you a favor. Mm-hmm. What kind of favor? Oh. Whatever favor I feel like asking you in the future. It's like an IOU. So you want to go find somebody who can read this? Ah, oh, you can suck. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like, that's the thing. It's like, your character has other characters that they have to deal with, just like <laughs> real life. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to uh, stuff the papers inside my <clears throat> arm. <laughs> like, so, not just inside my armor, like, inside underneath <laughs> clothing. <laughs> I feel like as as you'd have to like, and you can absolutely do it, but you'd have to like take off parts of your armor to do that. <laughs> you'd have to like de-armor a little to put it under and then put it back on. <laughs> Which, once again, totally fine with that. Just want to put that out there. That that's what you are doing. I mean, I could easily just like shove it down the top part of my armor underneath the neck of my clothing. And shove it down that. Okay. How about this? Mm -hmm. You love you. I do. <laughs> yes, you do. I'm sure you love to look at you. Not wrong. So, I have this steel mirror. I'll let you have it if you give us the information. Uh, mirrors are easy to come by. What makes this one so special? You could always it's, stare at my shiny armor. It's yeah. on your exactly. person at. I it, do that it's on your person at all times. You don't have to have him around to look at you. You can use it to look at other people sneakily. Not wrong. This, it is a personal mirror to you. <laughs> hmm. Now, I... now, don't don't go feeding her narcissistic nature. Uh, shut up. <laughs> you know what you're talking about. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with me. I am perfect. <laughs> Narcissist. <laughs> <laughs> it's I'll... okay. We, we love you as you are, Neely. I know. Thank you. Um. For the and mirror, so I'll will you, you when you look page. at this mirror. <laughs> I'll give you one page for the mirror. 
How many pages are there? Um, there are three. Hmm. Hmm. Indeed. I'll take that. I'll give you a, a, a steel mirror for the knowledge of a page. And I'm going to mark it off of my list. And now I have 0.5 less pounds to carry. <laughs> <laughs> and I get to look at myself all the time. You do. Uh, oh my god, I gotta get my Volos repaired. Damn you, Volo, you bitch! I suppose, reaches down into his shirt, pulls up the fucking papers, hands the first page over to Neely, rolls up the rest, and puts him back in his shirt. Alright, so I'll... Let me put it on the thing so you guys see it. And while she's doing all that, I'm gonna run to the bathroom right quick! Yay! I'm going to, uh, once she posts it, I'm going to be a narrator. Yay! Narrator! To those who are reading this now, long have the days passed where my soul yearns for the solid and sturdy feel of earth beneath my toes. This place is no longer a floating nation of whimsy and dreams, but rather a looming monstrosity rife with evil. For whom do I keep living? I cannot say. My parents are dead. My lover lost to the fiendishness of nature itself, and my hope has long since fled. I pray I see the light as this city of Spirifin. And after that, I forgot to put, the text becomes, you know, indecipherable. Unreadable. Yeah. yeah. On the first page, at least. Life is no longer a floating nation of whimsy and rather a looming monstrosity rife of evil. Hmm. This writing is very depressing, just so you know. <laughs> it's kind of bored me after a while. Sorry. <laughs> no, that's just my character telling them because she, so... she lost interest like halfway through. <laughs> she goes, ugh, fine. <laughs> Where did you find these papers? Um, I didn't. Our friend, what the space did, um, and he just handed it to me to see if I could figure it out. Because we were we the the guards came over. Hmm. Interesting. Well, now this has me very, very intrigued with this place. Intrigued enough to owe me a favor later? No, I don't care about the rest of this. Whatever. And he's like, why are you so focused on favors? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just giving you shit. Uh, amazing. Hmm. <sighs> All right, well. But you want to search some more. What do you want to look for? I mean, nothing particular. I just wanted to. See. I mean, all our stuff is kind of like destroyed right now, in so we need to yeah. make up for what we lost at the very. Least. Are we are we in like in a side room right now? Yes, you guys are. Yeah, because she what came down to in you in the side room. Uh, in this one, there seems to basically just kind of be actually not much at all. Including light, there's less holes up here, so it's pretty dark. Like in the side rooms themselves, it's fairly dark. Hmm. Okay. And I will double check real quick. Uh, facial features. You do indeed have dark vision. Yeah, that's with my glowing. You eyes also stuff. know the light can trip. I do. And you can cast lesser range. Less, blah, 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 blah. You know the stuff. Yeah. Lesser and daylight. Yep. As well. I was going to say, you know the things. You just might have to remind me of the things at some points. And I think Goliaths don't have dark vision. That is correct. Tieflings do. Um. 
So I'm going to. What what is what is on your person cap? For Everyone? like, equipment. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's see here. I have a bedroll, a mess kit, one day rations, which I have ten of those. I have hemp and rope, fifty feet, a signet ring, tinder box, torch, and water skin. Uh, big man, can you pull out a torch for me real quick? Absolutely. Reaches in his backpack and pulls out a torch. Uh, while you hold it out, I'm just going to put my two fingers on the tip of it, and I will do the light cantrip so that he is able to see Very around nice. him a little bit better. Sweet. And Diffie's doing things with husband real quick, so you know, feel free to explore the ship. Yeah, so I'll I'll just leave and head across the hall to the next room and see what's going on in there. If there's anything special. Okay. Uh, I'll make a perception check for this. Yeah, it sounds pretty good. Alright. Ooh! A big old four. Oof. Four, you say. Yeah. Well, I would declare that uh, you didn't see jack crap, sir. Oh, gosh, golly gee me. <laughs> Damn it. I had wiped my eyes with that tartar saw. Damn. I'll see a little bit better. Welcome Damn. back. Thank you. Welcome back. I found jack shit. <laughs> like Which is still better than on. finding shit, Jack. <laughs> Oh, that's my friend. I made him when I was two. Yeah. I... <laughs> Alright, let me get rid of those finally because I got well, those open in the right hand. Considering I can see now thanks to that light cantrip on my torch, I'm also going to explore. Explore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to yes, go a little yes. bit further down the hall into one of the rooms we haven't seen him yet, and I'm going to. Uh, See what I can see in these mighty small cabins. Alrighty. Uh, are you doing perception or just going by Ab passive? Ab absolute perception. Okay. It's a 13. Give me a moment. Oh, there we go. Uh, there's... Of course, I want generators. Huh. Interesting. Must be in this one. You know what I find interesting? What's that? A great sword only weighs six pounds. What? That's ridiculous. I shit you not. Great sword of wounding weight six pounds. Oh, that's a great sword of wounding now. Special, special. It's a high class item. So. Uh, my regular great sword is six pounds. <laughs> Meanwhile, my plate armor plus two weighs sixty five pounds. My manacles that I have weigh six pounds. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, manacles is heavy as fuck. That's true. And to they're, be meant fair. To keep, they're meant to keep your hands down. So it makes me beg the question, would I really need two hands to use my great sword of wounding? It might be that the it there might be six be pounds, in... but it's pretty long, so the weight would be very. That's that wouldn't change weight though. That just changes uh, buoyancy. Fighting and style. It's more of a fighting style issue. Yeah. All right. Anyway, you found a load. Oh yeah, a lodestone candlestick crafted in the form of a dragon. 
Ooh. Feel free to write that down in your notes. In fact, please do so I can keep track of it. Uh, um, I guess I'll do an investigation to see if I see anything interesting. Yeah. Bio I, info edit. I got a 12. Info. You said a lodestone? Yep. Crafted candle stick is shaped like a dragon yep pretty much pretty much the same thing uh and if you found a single cloth glove with an evil symbol in the palm and blood on the fingertips um i'll ask if anyone knows what the symbol is well uh i I would check to see if it's like any uh, infantry or <sighs> army symbol that I would recognize from my past as a soldier. Axel, you know it's fucked up? What's that? As a paladin, I have a zero in religion. Yeah. Welcome <laughs> to your natural problems with your druid as well. You're just shitty at being <laughs> your class, whatever yeah, it is. I, I, I had a druid that had a zero in nature and a zero in animal handling. So we're uh, doing religion? I guess I'll, I'll roll for religion if I know it. Well, I was going to roll for religion, but I have a plus zero to religion. <laughs> I have a plus four to religion, that's why I said <laughs> Well, I have you, a plus five. You can oh, definitely I roll seven. in I don't hope. know what the fuck this is. That's why <laughs> so, uh, be, I like, uh, I can't remember, I think it was Nog who gave you a suggestion. So you can just roll your 20 and then I'll put your appropriate modifier on from your... Oh, okay. From your page, and that way I can don't have to t give it away. Uh, okay, I'm gonna just roll a. So I got an eight. So add whatever you want for that. Someone's being sneaky in here. Or you can just GM roll it. You can also do that. He just rolls in reels. Uh, yeah. uh was that your role, Divi? Or did you guys or you were the only one trying to do it? Uh I rolled for religion knowledge, but I got a seven. I oof. got <laughs> Yeah, you, yeah. And neither do you, unfortunately, Diva. Alright. Okay, you know what? Just like, hmm. I'm gonna fucking attempt to with my plus zero to religion. Okay. I mean, <laughs> 